Chapter 1177 Divine Dream Law After understanding this, Lin Ming began to carefully observe the magic cube. The seven colored lights around the magic cube became increasingly brilliant, changing an infinite number of times between every breath of time. They were like a beautiful dream, ever-changing and ephemeral. These lines are... Lin Ming's mind suddenly shook. He recalled the mystical lines that were engraved into the chaos stones. These two types of lines actually shared a great number of similarities. In truth, these lines represented the various paths that the source energy of the universe traveled in. In other words, if one wished to look at these in another way, they would be called laws. As Lin Ming realized this, he sucked in a breath of cold air. The seven colored lines represent the divine dream law that Empire and Divine Dream established. Why were the Chaos Stones so precious? It was because they had the source laws carved into them at the very forming of the universe. If one meditated and perceived them, that was equal to perceiving the laws of the universe. Usually, those universe laws had already fused into stars, space, time, and all living beings everywhere. Wanting to filter out those laws and perceive them was easier said than done. One needed top cultivation methods and also an incredibly high level of perception. And now, the laws of this dreamland space were actually decomposed by the magic cube. Lin Ming's transcendent divine mites had been unable to even twist the laws of the divine dream space, but the magic cube had easily broken them down as if it weren't difficult at all. This is truly a divine instrument of the soul. Even the laws established by an empty Rin were easily solved. Lin Ming looked at these fantastical lines and felt incomparably excited. In truth, these lines were simple to construct. But as they moved, they might spin, they might cross, or they might even coil around, forming countless complex diagrams and images, all of them containing a multitude of mysteries. This sort of union between simplicity and complexity revealed a harmonic beauty at every turn, leaving one yearning for more. If I am able to perceive these things, will I be able to glance into the secret of the divine dream law? Lin Ming suddenly became excited as he realized this. What was the divine dream law? It was a transcendent divine might. Moreover, they weren't even an ordinary transcendent divine might. This was the total lifetime wisdom and knowledge of Empire and divine dream. It was extremely likely that it was. A transcendent divine might on the same level as the primordius martial intent created by Empire and primordius. Without the personal teaching of an empire or a jade slip that had the divine dream lore recorded within, one wouldn't be able to perceive anything within the divine dream space. But now, what Lin Ming saw was the very fundamental essence of the divine dream world source laws. This was undoubtedly a great lucky chance for him. Lin Ming's eyes shone as he thought of this, his vision turning increasingly fiery as he looked at these mysterious lines. Perhaps not even empire and divine dream's descendant would be able to obtain such an opportunity. They would have to arduously perceive with diligence, constantly comprehending and studying in order to learn empire and divine dream's transcendent divine art. Of course, Empire and Divine Dream's descendant had the complete transcendent divine might. This was not something that Lin Ming could compare with. If I can obtain a top 10 result in this divine realm first martial meeting and gain the opportunity to look over a complete transcendent divine might once, would I have a chance to choose Empire and Divine Dream's transcendent divine might? As Lin Ming thought of this, he shook his head. The likelihood of that happening wasn't too high. According to what the public knew, the top 10 of the first martial meeting would be able to go to Empire and Vast Universe's divine palace and receive the guidance of Empire and Vast Universe's chief disciple. And, the transcendent divine might there would likely be the inheritance of vast universe divine palace. For the top ten to receive a chance to look at transcendent divine might was already a generous reward. Asking for more was too unrealistic. And since divine dream palace was so mysterious, it was unlikely they would share their inheritance so easily. Lin Ming sighed with some regret. Since he wouldn't have the chance to learn, he had to take advantage of the opportunities in front of him and perceive as much as he could. Although perceiving the entire transcendent divine might was the talk of an idiot, being able to comprehend some of the divine dream law wasn't difficult at all. The divine dream law was the essence of empire and divine dreams accumulated knowledge. Lin Ming sat down and sank his energy into his body's minor dimension. He entered the ethereal martial intent state and began to train. After perfectly opening the gate of opening, Lin Ming's perception had become top class. He wasn't any much worse than the top geniuses of the divine realm. Even so, although the magic cube had already broken down the divine dream law, wanting to understand their mysteries was extremely difficult. How mysterious. It is like a new world, a new domain, a completely different law that is separate from the divine realm. When I withstood the baptism of the heavenly Tao laws for my ninth fall, there wasn't the least bit of anything related to the divine dream law. Although the divine dream law had the word dream within it, it was fundamentally different from things like ghosts and illusions. The divine dream law was the totality of empire and divine dreams learning. She had perceived another world and constructed the system of laws here. As Lin Ming was lost in meditation, the colored lights around the magic cube began to move more and more and also quicker and quicker. Within the divine realm, when the law lines interacted on the chaos stones, they were dark gray, some were heavy, some were simple, and some were faint. There were even places where the lines had broken or were twisted around. But the divine dream law lines were like an amalgamation of color, mixing together in a dreamlike state. The lines were lively and wonderful as if they had a life of their own. They constantly transformed, making it impossible to predict them. Thinking about it some more, the lines on the chaos stones could be called a manifestation of grand mist energy. But the lines of the divine dream law seemed as whimsical and bewitching as a daydream of multicolored lights. Lin Ming was soon lost in the charm of these laws. Training continued without a sense of time. In what seemed like a moment, half a month had already passed. After half a month, the day had come for the Divine Realm First Martial Meeting to officially start. As for the cutoff for registering, that had already been a month ago. Nearly every young heroic elite that had signed up had entered the Divine Dream World by now. Everyone was ready. On this day, 
Within the divine realms three thousand great worlds, all the residents of every great city, the disciples of every large sect, martial arts masters, hidden supreme experts, everyone gathered at the location of this grand tournament, all of them waiting for the first martial meeting to officially begin. These people were masters of participants, relatives, friends, fellow apprentices, acquaintances, and so on. It's beginning. It's about to begin. In one of Crimson Light World's tournament locations, Hugo Violet Stone stood before the massive pillar of divine light. The most outstanding young elites of the ancient Phoenix clan, including Yen Little Moon and Ping, were embezzled within the divine dreamland light. Lin Ming should also have joined in on the first martial meeting. I wonder just where he is. Hugo Violet Stone whispered to himself. At this time, the massive pillar of divine light suddenly converged together, forming a giant ball of light that was over 10,000 miles wide. Every single participant in that location was wrapped up in this ball of light. And at the same time, in the skies above the 3,000 great worlds of the divine realm, a giant golden scroll appeared. Just the width of this scroll was 400,000,000 miles. This looked like a universe map that seemed to contain the heavens and earth. The scroll slowly unraveled. Just from looking at this scroll, everyone felt a massive pressure shroud over them, as if they were facing the glory of the heavens. Hurry and look. There are words on the scroll. Someone shouted. Everyone looked up to see that on the scroll, there were golden letters with names written among them. And listed after these names were their sect or master and age. It was clear that these were the participants of the Divine Realm First Martial Meeting. The scroll continued to unravel, becoming longer and longer and filling with more and more names. First were the disciples that came from a sect, and then there were also many disciples that had supreme elders as their masters. Besides having their master's name behind their own, they had no sect listed since they were wandering martial artists. In other words, it was blank. The scroll continued to fall down at an ever faster pace. Finally, it stretched to a length of several million miles, 500,000 miles wide, several million miles long. This scroll was visible from nearly any point of a major world's mainland. As long as one looked up they could see this scroll, or at least the light emitting from it. And as one approached within 100 miles of this scroll, they could see countless numerous lines written on the scroll. If one approached, they could see that these names were listed in a three-foot square. The letters were indeed extremely large. It isn't just our crimson light world. I can also make out some other names. For instance, there are some people from the Sun Glory Holy Land. That is a holy land located at Atlas World. A disciple of the ancient Phoenix clan said, That's right, in the 3000 great worlds and 10 quadrillion geniuses, every single one of their names is written on that scroll. The amount of information on that scroll is terrifying. This is truly the work of an Empyrean. Hugh of Violet Stone narrowed his eyes as he looked up. He estimated that since this scroll appeared in his great world, it should also appear at every other great world in the Divine Realm. On each scroll, there were at least 100 quadrillion characters. If one didn't use supernatural powers beyond imagination to write this down, then it was impossible to finish writing all of these names even in 100,000 years. Dot. At this time, at an unknown small world of the Divine Realm, on a desolate tiny planet that seemed to lack life, an old man looked up into the stars. He was lost in thought, looking like a plank of wood stuck in the ground. After a long time, he began to mutter, The Divine Dream Law has finally projected the official proclamation. Divine Dream, you chose to have the first martial meeting take place in the Divine Dream World and also gather ten quadrillion geniuses to do so, not even forgetting those wandering martial artists. You even used the Divine Dream Law to outline such a compelling announcement. To use so much effort to do all of this, is it because you have a faint premonition that the Great Calamity is approaching? The old man said as he leaned on his walking stick. His back was curved with age. He seemed like a kind elderly old man in the last years of his life. This era is already yours. You should have a good idea of what it is you are doing. The old man said, as if he were talking to Empy Rin Divine Dream herself and also to himself. As he spoke to her, he violently coughed. His hair was withered, like dry weeds in summer, and his eyes were depressed deep into their sockets. His skin was gray and mottled and even his clothing was dirty, sending out a faint stench. This was the symbol of the five fadings of death. When an ordinary person died, they would do so from the prime of their life, slowly aging as their fires of life weakened. Finally, their life would come to an end and they would die. This process might occupy a third of their lifespan. But for a top supreme elder of the divine realm, if they were able to live for 10 million years, they would be glowing with vitality for 9.99 million of those years. Only at the final stages of their death would they experience the five fadings of death. These five fadings were, soiled clothes, sweat pouring from armpits, withering of the crown, stench of a body, loss of awareness. If one experienced the five fadings of death, that meant their fires of life were rapidly waning and the end of their life was soon approaching. The passing of time is truly a terrifying opponent, invincible and unstoppable. Since ancient times, there once appeared someone that managed to escape the erosion of time, but his fate also turned against him. In the end, everyone loses. The old man sighed, then turned around, stepping back into his simple cabin.